Alrighty, good morning guys. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Monday morning. I hope you had a wonderful weekend and hopefully the week goes short and the weekend is very fruitful this coming weekend. I appreciate you guys coming back for another week four photo challenge of the throw photo challenge. This week it is frame within a frame. We are going to be shooting a photo somehow that is framed within a frame. So we're going to head down to Everett Covered Bridge, which is a bridge that I've done several other videos. I've done my engagement photo shoot there. I've done a covered bridge series episode there. It was, I think, episode one. So I have some drone footage that I can reuse, hopefully to throw in some for some B-roll as well. Um, we've had a lot of rain the last couple days along with melting snow. So the water level should be incredibly high at this covered bridge, which should help make for a beautiful photo. Uh, before I got to do that, though, I, I need to take uh, a quick detour and get my hair cut because my hair is a little bit long. It's longer than I, I kind of like it. Um, it. And my hair is so crazy that it just kind of, uh, kind of does its own thing when it gets long. So hopefully today I can finally get out and shoot some good photos and just kind of clear my head a little bit. But without further ado, let's get dressed, uh, get suited up because it's like 20 degrees outside uh, and get ready, get everything packed up and get in the car and head over to get my hair cut at first, which you probably won't see much of, but then we'll head over to the throw photo challenge spot. Okay right, guys, just got done getting my hair cut and uh, I probably should have mentioned to you guys, um, I did get a new vehicle. So in the past I had been looking at getting a new vehicle but the amount of miles I was putting on in a week was just, it wasn't worth spending a ton of money on a new vehicle to be putting 1500 miles a week. Uh, you know, if you do the math, that's roughly 70,000 miles a year on a vehicle. So I used the Pilot as like just a vehicle to get me back and forth um, from all that driving. Uh, but now that I've kind of solidified myself in Akron, um, it was time to get a new vehicle. So I did invest myself into a 2018 Ford F-150. I bought the thing with 50 mile, five miles on it. It was pretty cool. My first ever new vehicle that I've ever owned, um, but I think it was time. So I figured I'd just throw that guys into a little bit of an update. And we are currently headed off to Everett Cover Bridge right now. And we'll see what we can get set up. I got both GoPros with me. So hopefully I'm gonna one wear on my chest. I'm gonna wear one when I'm gonna English there, Derek. I'm gonna wear one on my chest, and I'm gonna put one on the hot shoe of the camera, and the one on my chest is where I'm gonna put the microphone. So hopefully we get some good audio and some decent angles of what I'm seeing versus what the camera is seeing, and we'll see how it goes. here out at Everett Covered Bridge, as you can see behind me. Um, this is gonna be our first shot, I think. My idea is I'm gonna take my phone out and I'm gonna put my phone into the photo. Take a photo, like have the phone be on the camera mode and get everything in focus and then take a nice close-up shot with my, this camera of the phone. Wow, it's getting incredibly bright right now. Uh, take a photo of me taking a photo with the phone. So that kind of will be how I emulate the frame within a frame. I'm gonna see how that works out. If that doesn't end up looking very good, my next plan will be to go up onto the bridge. The bridge is very square. You can look down it, we can do the frame. Maybe try a photo shot with the phone there and then into the framing of the Everett covered bridge and then get something inside there and hopefully take a photo of it. So we'll have a frame within a frame within a frame. So that's kind of the two ideas that I have. As you guys can tell, I got the GoPro going here. I did forget to bring the case that's got the notched out so I can put the microphone in. So again, maybe I'll have to do a voiceover of what I'm seeing and thinking, but at least you'll get this perspective of how I'm looking and what I'm looking at as I move around. And then I'll also put the Hero 7 on the horse, on the shoe of the camera as I get rid of this. So let me get, I got the tripod set up behind me. I don't know if you could tell, it's pretty blown out right now. Uh, looking straight into the sun. But I do have the tripod set up along the river here and we'll get set up and see what we can get. Start a fire without a spark. Forget what I told you, forget all about that tonight. Just remember the flame you remember. 
remember the flame All right Forget what I told you Forget all about that tonight Just remember the flame You remember the flame Okay, well, we are finally finished up wrapping up. We did some filming and some B-roll, got all that done, got the photos that I think should turn out pretty decent for the frame within a frame at this gorgeous location of Everett Covered Bridge here in Richfield, Ohio. Let's go ahead and get back into the car, head home, put these photos in the Lightroom, and uh, see if we can decide which one we like the best. All the blame, but I'm moving on. I just have to make sure that you know well, I am back here in the studio. It was cold, cold drive home. But we are uh, finally got all the photos edited. Um, I brought really the three main photos back into Photoshop and Lightroom. Uh, the one from down by the river, the one from in front of the bridge, and then the one where I shot through the bridge in myself. Um, basically what I found out was the one where I tried running really quickly to the other side of the bridge, turning around, taking a photo, just didn't turn out right. You know, it was, a, it was a wide angle lens. We were shooting pretty far distance. I just didn't come out as sharp as I would have liked. So I just wasn't too cool with that photo. So I go ahead and went, went ahead and scrapped that photo. The two photos that I ended up liking the most were the two photos where I used the phone and using the depth of field where I was taking a picture with a camera, <clears throat> excuse me, of the phone that was taking a picture of something, emulated the frame within a frame where I was framing the phone within the giant frame of things in terms of all the bokeh and everything. I just thought the two photos looked really good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw both photos up here on the screen right now. Um, I went ahead and went with the river shot. I thought that had the most, I thought the picture within the phone was better than just the regular bridge, although I did kind of like both photos. Um, I just thought overall it gave a good contrast with the nice bright red bridge on top of all the yellows and, and, and oranges of all the scenery as well. I thought that photo ended up being the best. The photo that Rookser submitted to me is this photo right here on the screen now. Here are both photos side by side. Now, I think the way we're going to move forward with doing voting is we're going to do voting through <coughs> Instagram and then through the YouTube comments. And the reason why we're going to do that is because it's too hard to tell who's voting where in terms of are they voting through the poll, also on top of voting on Instagram, also on top of voting through the YouTube comments. And are they voting between Rookster's video and my video? So potentially between both videos, both comments, um, and then Instagram, that one person could make a total of five votes. I think that kind of takes away from the spirit of the competition of, you know, instead of getting one vote, you get five. I don't think that's fair. So I think moving forward, we're only gonna take comments through the Instagram and YouTube. And that way we can kind of be more fair on making sure we're not double or triple or quadruple counting votes through the um, tallying. And that way it's more fair across the board where um, we figure out who actually has the best photo. So go ahead and leave a comment in the description, in the comment section, or go over to the Instagram at throw photo and leave a comment on whose photo you think better. After you guys leave a comment on whose photo you think is the best, don't forget to attend the live stream on Sunday evening at 9 p.m. where we discuss both photos, we look at any other submissions that were submitted by you guys as the viewers, and kind of just critique the photos as a whole. And then we'll go over and critique each other's photos and then figure out who won the photo challenge for the week. At the end of the challenge, we try to do a little bit of a fun little, you know, competition, or not competition, consequence to the loser, you know, something small, but ultimately the end of the year challenge uh, tallying is the biggest consequence of them all, where the loser has to get a tattoo of the winner's YouTube channel on their body. We'll film it, of course, and then we'll make sure we post a video at the end of the year. Uh, don't forget to put your submissions for this week's challenge, which was frame within a frame on Instagram. Don't forget to tag us at throw photo or use the hashtags throw photo or throw photo challenge. And that way we can make sure we can uh, see what all the submissions we're getting from everyone else is. Um, last thing is please don't forget to go over to Rookster's video, see how he created his image. If you, that way you can kind of get a more in depth of why he chose the image that he chose. 
and then it gives you a fair competition or fair comparison to my picture versus his picture. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks for watching the video. Next week's challenge is going to be a black and white challenge, pretty open. We just want to make sure there's no color in the photo, entirely monochrome in terms of black and white. Alrighty, guys. Hopefully, we'll see you guys on Sunday. Stay safe out there. Keep that rubber side down. Don't forget to enjoy the moment. And until Sunday, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Forget what I told you. Forget all about that tonight. Just remember the flame. You remember the flame.